Hello Pisces, happy weekend to you. It's Saturday. I hope you are enjoying your weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces highest good, please, universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life, and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see. Extra message. Very important. Ooh. You're letting your soulmate go. You're so disappointed in this relationship. You're trying to disconnect from them emotionally. Because the Ace of Cups is reversed. You're trying to completely let this person go physically, emotionally. Oh, you feel this is how this relationship became. Meaning, first, obviously, it was nice, like all relationships, but then it became toxic. And you don't want to be in a toxic relationship. You want a solid, loving, nurturing relationship, monogamous relationship. This is you feeling that you have no choice but to let them go for good. Yeah, you want to be happy. You want to be uh, nurtured, appreciated by your soulmate. Yeah. Wow. But it looks like you also have family members with this energy that are draining you. You see, showing up here. As two snakes, you see. So there's at least two family members. Um, you know who they are. Two family members that have this energy towards you. You see this? That uh, you're dealing with. You see this? Wow, this is heavy. I'm so sorry you're going through so much, Pisces. You're going through a lot. Yeah, you're trying to, you see, they're showing up here as reversed King of Cups. You're trying to let them go completely, including emotionally, because you feel you've been through too much. Hmm, my goodness, you, you're dealing with a lot, Pisces. You are so strong. You know, please show us what's coming up for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their summit journey? This was a serious relationship for the two of you. It was a serious relationship because lovers, major arcana number six is popping up here. Oh my goodness. This is very unusual. This happens once in a blue moon, if that, where you see this card twice, not just in the same spread, but on top of each other. So... While you are trying to let go of toxic relationship with this person, um, you're still dealing with at least two toxic family members. You see this? Toxic family members. Wow. You have to be careful because those family members will try to reconcile with you, but they still the same way. You see this? Yeah. People don't change their character. What you see is what you get. There's part of you that's missing. At some extent, you are missing this soulmate. So they also have qualities, just like everybody else does, right? We all have qualities as well, right? It's not all negative. But I think what happened with this person and you is that um, you have emotional wounds from... Uh, these relatives here and they just kind of uh, this person here that you're trying to let go of um, they reopened those wounds for you they triggered you 
Mm -hmm. There's a lot you need to address in your life, yeah, to help yourself, you know, because you've been through a lot, Pisces. Yeah, you've been through a lot, and yet you're so resilient, you're so strong. Yeah, universe, please show us. I admire your inner strength, your courage. Yeah, you know, you're dealing with a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, please show us what's going on for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey. Yeah, you still love this person. You do, but you're trying to disconnect emotionally, let it go. You have a lot of fears. You see, this is, this is you having a lot of fears, sleepless nights, worrying too much, overanalyzing too much, feeling trapped, feeling confused. Your job is showing up here. You're doing very good for yourself at your job. Yeah, you're doing very well for yourself at your job. You're very good at what you do. This is you trying to find healing, closure. But this shows me you and your soulmate uh, have spent many lifetimes together, very connected from past incarnations. You see this? Very connected, long-standing soul history together. Wow, this is a very heavy reading, Pisces, and you are so strong. Let me see what's going on here. Then we're going to ask about your soulmate. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces. How is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? It's, they, they can be very much stuck in their way. Um, it's hard for them to apologize, to uh, express emotions, commit in a healthy way. They miss you a lot. This is them feeling sad, but they don't like to show it. They realize they lost you. you letting them go. That the end of a relationship. So there's part of you that is happy about losing this person. And there's part of you that is very sad. It's like you are mourning losing this relationship. You, you still love this person. Yeah, let me see what's going on with this person. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces that Pisces is trying to let go of? And how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? Especially <clears throat> emotionally. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces? And how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? Especially emotionally. So this is the soulmate you're trying to let go of. They're not happy. They're not emotionally fulfilled. Yeah, this is them trying to figure out what went wrong in this relationship. What they could possibly uh, correct, work on. So they're trying to be very honest with themselves. Look at the situation very objectively, honestly. They really do love you. Yeah, this person loves you. They want to come towards you with some kind of emotional offer. But kind of scared, shy right now. Yeah. See, so they recognize the two of you approach this relationship from such opposite angles. Like you're so opposite the way you connect uh, in relationships. The way you communicate. The way you express emotions. And you see, they want to find... Uh, a middle zone here for the two of you. Let's see their subconscious position. Yeah, this is them trying to really look at everything objectively, honestly, to draw conclusions, to figure out if this is truly over or not. This person loves you. Yeah, they do. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces? And how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time, especially emotionally? Wow. You guys have broken up many times. 
yeah this was like a um, pattern in this relationship but funny you think it's the end it's like the final straw for you you feel you guys this person is so heartbroken they've experienced a lot in their life as well they've been through a lot of hurdles in their life and you see it's like they're holding on to that emotional baggage it's something they need to work on to forgive to release to allow themselves to heal from their past yeah they realize they're not happy yeah now they see clearly that they have a lot to address from their past that has nothing to do with you yeah they realize they didn't put work into this relationship like you have you put a lot more effort energy time into this relationship they realize that they see that now yeah you see they see that the two of you haven't really connected the right way even though you love each other you see the cups are empty but you love each other but the cups are empty you see it's not it's like the two of you haven't shared this love like you should have they recognize that they're trying to heal they're so heartbroken devastated emotionally over this loss you see this three swords behind them this is them feeling like they need to retreat to find out the answers on their own what's next yeah you see this person is trying to be strong resilient trying to figure out how to clear the air with you communicate with you yeah they know they're gonna have to be very brave to approach you because you are disappointed Oh, you told them off. You told them what time it is. You didn't sugarcoat. Yeah, they're kind of concerned because they're scared that maybe you won't let them talk or want to hear them out. Uh, they view you as very guarded emotionally towards them. You guys had some serious arguments. Yeah, wow. Both of you are going through a lot. I'm so sorry you both going through so much, Pisces. Yeah, this is tough. Breakups are never easy. Never, right? You never see people smiling when they're breaking up, right? Uh, yeah, breakups are tough. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Hmm. This is a lot. Yeah. Uh, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces? Look how stressed out they are about this situation. This is bothering them because they still love you. If they didn't love you, they would have moved on already. They wouldn't feel bothered, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They in love and they holding two cups, which tells me they want to figure out whether you still love them or not, what it is you feel for them. This person loves you a lot. Yeah, they really do. But this is unspoken love, unexpressed love, hidden love. Wow, they have a lot of respect for you. Look at this. They view you as the catch. Maybe they didn't see you that way when they had you, but now that they lost you, look, they think very highly of you. Look at this. Beautiful. My favorite queen of all queens, queen of pentacles. Wow, Pisces, we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so pisces click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys